Hey, welcome to Mika Finance. On this video, I will tell you why do I think that the stock market and the Bitcoin and all the cryptocurrencies are going down, are going to dump on the following weeks and the next month. And for that, I will talk to you about seasonality and I will compare the stock market with the different seasons, okay? If you want to know more, stay on this video. I want to tell you that I'm not a financial advisor, so if you follow any comments, suggestion, or anything that I say, I have to tell you that it's at your own risk and at your own responsibility. So if it goes great for you, amazing, fantastic. But if it goes bad, I'm sorry, don't come crying, okay? Most of the videos that I do are in Spanish uh, because I have found out that um, the Spanish community needs more information about stock market and Bitcoin. But anytime that I feel that there is something that there is no much information in English or that I don't find a lot, I will also try to make a video in English. And if I get enough subscribers or comments in English, I then I might eventually also create a channel in English. Okay. Okay, so basically this is the Dow Jones, okay, for today, for the 22nd of September, okay, and uh, we can see that it broke uh, a few days ago, the moving average of 21 days moving average, and has been going down, and uh, probably might continue doing it, but we don't know when or till when or how long, right? Same for the Bitcoin, has broken the 21 day moving average, still above the 144 moving average because I use the Fibonacci levels, okay? That's what I like to use. And the standard pores, the same, okay? They have been going bad, okay? And also we can see on the other side that the dollar, it has broken a trend, okay? In where it was going down and it's starting to go up. So basically dollar is going up, Bitcoins and, and stock market are going down, okay? There is another resistance here that if it's really broken, it's gonna get more drastic. The increase of the dollars and the crash of the stock market, we still don't know when or if it's gonna happen. But the point is that I want to tell you more information than other than this trading analysis. I want to talk to you about seasonality. For that, I will talk to you about this website, okay? There is this web website, SeasonX, okay? SeasonX.com. If you go, it will allow you to explore different instruments and check the seasonality on them, what happens every year. So for example, I can go here to the Dow Jones and uh, at the beginning, it will show me how have been the Dow Jones on each month during the last 10 years. So we have seen that in October and September tend to be, especially September tends to be more or less stable and October tends to grow. So, yeah, okay, let's make it a little bit longer. Let's make it for the last 40 years. So let's go to 1980s. Okay, we can do this website is amazing because you can do these kind of things. You can check that in October, October, there is a a little dump, okay, which we could take advantage at the end of October, and September tends to go down. So we might now be on something like this. It's the end of September, the stock market is going down, and then we'll recover a little bit, and October is gonna be down more. So that this could be a great opportunity to buy, because later it will go up. But wait, this year is a little bit different. We have the coronavirus, we have an election year, so it's a little bit different. So this, the thing is that we cannot analyze the virus of things, but we can analyze what happens in elections year. So this website allows us to, for instance, uh, make a filter for election years and take an average on the seasonality on election years. And on general, on September, the stock market goes down. For instance, this is the Dow Jones, okay? The Dow Jones goes down, and then in October, even deeper, okay? So this could be a great opportunity to, to buy. Okay, so this tends to be on general on the elections on the last uh, 40 years. We can go deeper for more years, 90 years, but tends to be the same. And I'm gonna 40 on the la uh, I'm gonna focus on the last 40. Okay, and I want to mention something else that I noticed. Okay, you know that every four years there's an election, and sometimes the presidents change. So I wanted to check what happens when the president. Uh, changes okay so for instance uh, we can check here that there is a I, I opened and I created two more uh, 
analysis in where, for instance, on this one, these are the years in where the president does not change. For instance, in 1984, there is Donald Reagan who was re-elected from, and then on 1996, there was Clinton that was re-elected, and then in 2004, there was Bush who was re-elected, and 2012, there was Obama. Okay, and if we check those years in where the president have been re-elected, we can check that September tends to go up, go up, and they go down, and technically grow up a little bit, and then October is, goes down a little bit from the beginning to the end of the month, but there are dumps on October, so there are going to be opportunities on October if Donald Trump wins again. Okay, the, technically this is what should happen, this is what have been happens on the last elections when the president gets re-elected. But what happens when the president is not re-elected and there is a change of uh, leadership? This is what have been happening those years that there's a change, like in 2016 Trump win, won, or 2008 Obama won, or 2000 I think it was Bush, okay? Every time there is an election and the, there is expected change on the president, in September the stock market sinks, okay? And in October it goes to hell, okay? Technically it goes really, really down, okay? So this is what could happen to the stock market and to the Bitcoin and all the cryptocurrencies if the people expect to uh, Trump to lose, okay? If the people expect Trump to win, it will be more or less stable for September and October, but still there are going to be dumps in October just before the elections. And these this statistics are cool, are really efficient, because the election has always been in November, at least for the last 100 years. So this tends to be pretty accurate of what happens before elections. And the other good thing is that, let's imagine that you bought at the bottom in October, or that you bought at the bottom in... The, um, Yes, in October. And what happens in the following year? If we go to the following year, okay, we can go to post-elections, and the year post-election, we will see the stock market go up. So it's actually a great opportunity in October to buy stocks or to buy cryptocurrencies because even does not matter who wins, next year is going to be better, technically. And if you buy in October, you are going to buy the dip. So I expect, I believe that in October we will see another dip, probably in September, we don't know. It will depend on what the people specs to win. And here on FTX.com, okay, we can see some futures. And here we can we can see the people betting for who's going to win. For instance, the, the one that is a multicolor that you can see the candles, this is people expecting Trump to win. And the other one that is orange, you can see the people that is expecting uh, Biden to win. And at this moment, people is expecting 54% of the people that is betting money at least expects Biden to win versus 44 who's expecting Trump to win. This might change because, of, for instance, in June it was the contrary. People was expecting Trump and has been like that from the beginning. And then right now change back. It might happen another change sooner at the election race continues. But this is an, a thing to keep in mind. What is going to happen? And if you see that the stock markets start to sink, the probability that Biden wins is bigger, and then it's going to be a great opportunity to buy Bitcoin later. So if you have Bitcoin on your hands and you bought Bitcoin in around 10,000 or something, it's great, or it would be a great idea to put a stop loss, okay? To, in the case that the Bitcoin goes down or stock market goes down, you can take later advantage in the middle and or in the month of October, okay? So if you, so well, that's it basically what I wanted to say. And uh, I expect that this happens. There is another leg down on the stock market, on the cryptocurrencies, and it will depend on what is the expectation of for the elections and other things in the world. But this one is really interesting because at the end, uh, the world follows the United States, okay? And what happens in the United States affects all the world. So it's really interesting and important to follow it. I hope you found this information useful. If you found it useful, please subscribe, press the, the bell button, and uh, share this video. And make any comments if you want to have more videos in English, okay? So, well, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.